the Bear Brick SB Dunk Lows are just around the corner. It's been a massive summer for Dunk Lows, SB Dunk Lows and SB Dunk Low Pros all over the place. Some absolutely iconic sneakers, some sneakers for the ages, some duds in my opinion, some that didn't come to pass like the 7-Elevens. Uh, they dropped that one. I'm glad they did because I do not like the Dunk line lining up with like multi-billion dollar corporations. But here we have today a collaboration, big, you know, hype beast sort of company and brand tying up with the Dunk line. I actually kind of like it. I think they fit well together. So it's a yes for me in those terms. Uh, and actually being here in Tokyo, Japan, I have a slightly inside edge on these guys because we have access to better photos than other places around the world just now. I'm sure they'll all filter out into the internet pretty soon. But I think it's the undefeated stores here in Tokyo, Japan that are stocking these guys. And they've given us a first sort of advanced look at them better than I've seen on any of the other sites from around the world. So I'm going to use those photos today to give you guys a close up look at some of the details especially that heel which is hard to see and is actually quite unique and also talk about where this sits for me in that sort of summer of SB because it's been a great summer and these sneakers could actually be taking it to a next level so without further ado let's get into this and take a look at the upcoming release of the Nike SB Dunk Low Bear Brick. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel Days. My name is Yapsuru no Day and my name is Design. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, what we're looking at is that Nike SP Dunk Low Bear Brick. Now, first things first, just very quickly, you know, maybe you guys know this because you're like super sneaker smart people out there who know everything about sneakers. I myself do not know everything about sneakers uh, and I like to learn from people out there. So, you know, drop me comments down below. Uh, but if you don't know much about the uh, Dunk line, there's three dunks to kind of be aware of the dunk lows the sb dunk lows and the sb dunk low pro uh, now these guys are sb dunk lows they're not pros and we know that because uh, hopefully i can zoom in on the very front part of the lacing system there and you see that little bit that comes up on the quarter line and it stops short of the lacing system then it's a dunk low or an sb dunk low uh, if that went up and continued on to the lacing system it would be an sb dunk low pro um, and so it's an sb dunk uh, low um, not a dunk low uh, we know that as well because of the padding on the tongues and the extra sort of support that you get around the ankle area. So that's where the shoe sits in the sort of dunk line of things. Uh, and here it is in Japan. Now, this is weird. This is unusual. Uh, I have never seen this before. And we're talking about over 600 days of consecutive YouTube content, not a single day missed. Um, sometimes double sneakers. So we could be up towards 650 sneakers in a row. And I've never noticed big websites like Sneaker News to do this. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? I'll be zooming in on it kind of slowly to see if you can pick up that anomaly that I'm talking about. And what it is, is the details for this shoe are listed on Sneaker News as dropping on August the 22nd. Today is uh, September the 15th, so a week from today shooting this video. But I think this video is actually going to go up on Monday, so it'll be five days from the video actually dropping itself. Uh, but yes, it's August the 22nd. Um, but what it says there, hopefully you've had time to work it out, is the price in Japanese yen. I've never seen that on Sneaker News. I've only ever seen their prices in US dollars. Uh, so the fact that it's written up there in Japanese yen makes me seriously think that this is going to be a Japanese only drop. I don't know that, but I think that. It reminds me of the denims that dropped recently, which I think was one of the best shoes of the season, bar none. Uh, one of the best dunks, of course, but one of the best sneakers, you know, across the entire season. Uh, I thought it was a beautiful shoe and that had a sort of region specific um, drop. And, you know, people were saying to me in the comments down below, have you got any chance of getting these for me? Because I can't get them where I am. I think those are going to have a general release later though, the denims. Uh, and it might be the same with these guys. They look like they're coming in at a Japanese specific uh, drop a region specific drop uh, and that sort of you know because I'm here in Japan and I know which Japanese websites to look at I've been able to get some pictures of these shoes uh, in a way that other sites haven't been able to see them for example the insole there's a there's a look at the insole in more detail than some of the sites that I look at in the states and uh, in Europe for example um, you know and it gives you that kind of clear look at the two insoles together side by side and then zoomed in on it you can see that bare brick motif going on throughout the entire uh, insole there so a better look than maybe you can get elsewhere I don't know you can tell me in the comments down below if I'm way off if these kind of pictures and images are already circulating widely on the internet but as far as I'm aware uh, in Japan we've got the sort of inside edge on that and it might be because it's a Japanese specific drop and like I said I think the undefeated stores are already pushing out some photos and uh, promotional materials behind these shoes because it's going to be big uh, personally 
Not a fan. Woo hoo hoo. What? Excuse me? Uh, sorry, you know, dunk uh, heads out there. I'm sure people are crawling all over me and saying that's totally wrong. These are a great shoe. This is a personal opinion. This is not uh, a fact. I'm not saying these are bad shoes. It's a fact. You must believe me. I'm saying this is what I think of them. And it's the faux fur on them that gets me. I'm just not a fan of it. Now, I got sort of um, done in the comments when we talked about this with uh, Jordan 6. Um, and the, the name of the brand uh, escapes me right now, but I'll put it up uh, and you'll be able to see it. Something, it wasn't concepts, but it was something like that. Um, and it was a, a you know, collaboration. It was done with that kind of faux fur effect on there. Uh, and also there was, a, it looked like the Black Cats, but it was um, a, a female basketball player's collaboration with the Jordan 4s. And again, in that faux fur. Um, and I looked at both of those for the channel. And then here we are with this. Uh, it's just not my thing. Uh, I didn't like it on the Ben and Jerry's, for example. Sorry, again, that's a four figure sneaker in resale right now, but it just... Uh, you know, and I know it was the cow, you know, the cow's fur and all that on the Ben and Jerry's and that was the point and it made sense in the narrative of the sneaker, but I just don't like it. It's not, it's not like, I don't understand it. I just don't like it. Uh, and I know on these guys, it's to do with the bear. It's a bear. A bear has fur. It's a furry sneaker. Full fur on the sneaker and it makes sense, especially in the colorway with that black kind of um, fur feel to it to go with the, the, bear, the bear kind of motif. But it's just not my thing. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too... I don't know, boring. Maybe I'm just too old. Uh, but just for me, I don't like uh, fur on sneakers. It doesn't make sense to me. Leather, yes, absolutely. Nylon, uh, mesh, all of these kind of things. Suede, yes, 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 yes. But when it comes to this sort of furry effect, it just isn't my thing. Uh, but there are some details on the shoe that are very, very cool and very worth looking at. And they do have to do with that motif from the Bear Brick line. And the Bear Brick line, their, their main sort of story is B-E- and that A with the swirl, like at mark, R, brick, bear, brick, line, that, that A is their sort of logo, and it appears in two really significant places on the shoe. Uh, and the first is up on the tongue, so we'll go have a look at the top of the tongues there, and you can see that the sort of outer edge of that is in that bear shape with the bear ears up high, and then the A in the middle there uh, to give it that motif. Very cool. I don't. I, I have no problem with brands playing around with the, the branding up at the top of, of tongues. I think it's one of the cool sort of ways to have a signature on a shoe without actually disrupting the silhouette of the shoe itself. So it's, it's a very big plus for me. Uh, and then the same thing down low on the lateral side towards the heel. This is a standard place to put branding and a collaboration with the SB Dunks or Dunks uh, in general, like the Pigeons, obviously, that was a, a big thing uh, in sneaker. The history of sneakers, though, what happened with the pigeons in like 2000, I want to say two, um, the, 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 and that pigeon up the, right there on the lateral side now replaced with the, that at mark again and that bare sort of motif around the edges of it. What's interesting in this, though, is that it's not stamped on there. And probably they couldn't do that because of the fur. Stamping into fur is very difficult, but what they've done as they've taken the, the logo and actually made it into a separate piece of material and then stitched it on top of the fur, which is unusual uh, when it comes to putting that branding in the lateral side of Dunks. And then we get to my favorite sort of part of the shoe uh, in terms of its narrative and, and hopefully being able to give you guys out there a view of something that you haven't seen yet. Now, if you have, I apologize if it's not that big a deal, but to me it was a big deal that I could find this on the Japanese sites and not on the English sites and the overseas sites. And it's the heel on these guys because they have a really unique piece of heel branding right here. Doing, uh, and what you can see is that all black shoe has the white sort of, it's almost like a I don't know, it's like an oval shape uh, of, of heel branding at the top there in white, like I said, with white branding on it, but still in that fur motif. Uh, it's funny that they still can't get the E right, even when they've gone to the trouble of doing it in fur uh, and, and in that sort of special design effort there. You'd think they could finally squeeze that E in without uh, lopsiding the top part of it, but they haven't. But it's still a very cool feature on this shoe, and I think it adds a sort of dimension to it that takes it just above being a sort of triple black shoe. Um, you know what I didn't mention? I, I've said I didn't like the shoe uh, that much. It's not my thing. I still like talking about shoes and I, I, I bring content even if it's not my thing. Uh, but what is my thing is the precursor to these, which back in 2017 looked like this. That is a cool looking shoe. And it's very similar to this one. Dark uh, sort of motifs up in the top or half, white on the midsole, light gray on the outsole. Um, and uh, that's my preference, you know, as far as the, the shoes go. So I would much more be looking at the 2017 than the 2020 versions. But that's just me. Maybe you have a difference of 
of opinion. Now, speaking of those outsoles on there, there's a question, and again, it comes back to that sort of Japanese content versus English content, because what I've seen is this right here as being the outsole, um, and I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Uh, it could be, I might be wrong. This looks more like a standard outsole to me that wouldn't actually appear on the bottom of SB Dunk Lows, I think this would. Boing. There's what we're seeing on the Japanese sites, and it's got that SB moniker right in the middle of the outsole there and I put it in that SB side. I think that's what the outsole is going to look like and this thing, going back to that sort of standard outsole on there, is not what you're going to get on the bottom of these. But again, that's an opinion. Don't know for sure, but that's just what I'm seeing from my position here in Tokyo, Japan. Please let me know and let everybody know in the comments down below if you know different, if you know different about the outsole, if you know different about the branding, if you know different about the drop dates, the drop locations, any of that stuff, it's great to share. So share down in the comments down below. For now, it's time for me to sign off. Like I said, it's Saturday afternoon, uh, 4.30 on the 15th and this video should go up on Monday the 17th uh, in uh, advance of that um, Saturday the 22nd drop date. It's not showing up on the sneakers app yet so I don't know, uh, like I said, I don't know if these are going to drop in specific stores or if they're going to get a more general release uh, even beyond Japan or if it's just regional specific but we'll find out in the days to come. For now, enjoy a look at the shoe, uh, enjoy checking out my content, appreciate it very much. As I pointed at the screen there, my iPad fell off and then hit my dog's cage, which is a great way to end the video. Uh, and uh, woke up my dog on the sofa over there and she's gone straight back to sleep. Uh, I need to go edit this video uh, and then take my little girl to the park when it gets a, bit, a little bit cooler. We're getting up to like 39 degrees here in Tokyo, Japan, so it's getting very hot. Uh, but it gets a bit cooler later in the day and I'm going to go take care of that. So time for me to sign off. Thank you guys for checking out the content. But you know what? I do this every single day, which means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.